Hello students, in this video lecture we are going to discuss the geometrical interpretation of first order quasi-linear partial differential equation. Now let us uh, write the general form of a first order quasi-linear partial differential equation. Now in my earlier video I have already given the first uh, uh, how does a first order quasi-linear partial differential equation look like? A first order quasi-linear partial differential equation looks somewhat like this. AUX plus BUY is equal to C, where X and Y we are regarding as independent variables and U we are regarding as a variable which is dependent on X and Y. And uh, as far as A, B and C are concerned, A, B and C are functions involving the variables X, Y and U. So this is how a first order quasi-linear partial differential equation looks like. Now, uh, since we have to find its geometrical interpretation, that what does, it, what does this equation mean geometrically? So let me write this equation in an implicit form. Implicit form means that I'm writing this equation with all the terms on one side. So I write this equation as AUX plus BUY minus c is equal to 0. So this is the implicit way of writing uh, the equation with the, all the terms of the uh, equation on one side. Um, let me give some number to it. I'm marking it as 1 so that I can refer to this equation. Now I am interested in finding out what is the uh, geometrical interpretation of uh, this equation. So for this uh, what we do is we consider the uh, solution of this uh, equation. Let's say u is equal to uxy is a solution of the equation 1. Now again uh, I write the solution in an implicit form. Uh, writing the solution, this is an explicit form of right, explicit way of writing the solution. I write the solution in an implicit form as uh, uxy minus u is equal to 0. I write the solution like this. Now this is an implicit way of writing the solution where all the terms of the solution have been written on one side and let me call this solution as 2. Now because the left hand side of this solution uh, involves three variables x, y and u so I can give some uh, so this is basically a function of uh, three variables x, y and u so I can give some name to it I'm calling this as function uh, f uh, you can give any name you want I'm calling it as f where f is a function of x, y and u so this is the solution surface. Now uh, the point is I'm interested in find interested in uh, finding out what is the uh, geometrical interpretation of the quasi-linear equation. So for that what I do is I write the equation 1 which is the quasi-linear equation in implicit form as a dot product of two vectors. So I write equation 1 as this a b c this is one vector uh, the, with components a b c and dot u x u y minus 1 this is equal to 0. You can see that equation 1 can be written in this form. Why? Because when you take dot product of these two vectors, these are vectors with three components in the x, y, u space. So if you uh, just uh, take the dot product of these vectors, then the first component multiplied with the first uh, component, this is a u x, then second with the second, uh, so this is uh, b u y and uh, the uh, third with the third this is how the dot product is taken minus c is equal to 0 and this is nothing but equation 1 so we get equation 1 this means that equation 1 can be expressed as a dot product of two vectors where the two vectors have components a b c and u x u y minus 1 so this is a way of writing uh, equation 1 I'm referring I'm marking this as 3 so that I can refer to this equation again now coming back to the uh, solution this this particular uh, equation if you take a look at uh, equation 2 now this uh, as I said before the left hand side is a function of three variables x y u so basically f is a uh, function of x y and u we have given a, a name to this left hand side and, and I told you that I'll be calling this as f you can give any name uh, as I said before uh, so just to refer to it I'm calling it as f now this uh, this fun this basically this function is a function in three variables x y and u and uh, so this this uh, this basically represents a surface in the x y u space. So uh, uh, and uh, since uh, this is a uh, solution, since two rep is a basically a solution of equation one. So this this uh, represents a solution surface. So you can say that f represents the solution surface, or uh, we can say integral surface because a solution or integral are one and the same. So you can say it's the solution surface or the integral surface in the x y u space. So this is the equation of the solution surface or uh, integral surface in the x, y, u space. Now what I do is I just consider this 
uh, solution surface or integral surface in the x y u space and i just find out its uh, gradient vector which means that i find out uh, del of f and uh, uh, when you find out del of f del of f is uh, a vector with components uh, i f x plus uh, j f y plus uh, k f u because you are in the uh, x y u space so these are the three components where f x represents the partial derivative of f with respect to x f y represents the partial derivative of f with respect to y and f u represents the partial derivative of f with respect to u now why am i doing this uh, that i'll tell you because i have to finally find the geometrical interpretation of equation 1 so i am trying to uh, arrive at some point uh, some uh, point where i can conclude something about the geometrical interpretation so i am trying to uh, uh, find out things so that i can finally find the uh, geometrical interpretation so i find the gradient of f which is del of f which actually in vector form can be written as you can write it as fx fy fu you can write like this and uh, if you actually calculate uh, uh, this uh, uh, vector fx fy fu then uh, this can be uh, ca uh, written as uh, 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 you can calculate this uh, uh, from the, uh, the these components can be calculated from equation uh, 2 equation 2 is giving you uh, the value of f so uh, so basically fx which is the partial derivative of f with respect to x this is actually this term uh, will be this term when you are calculating the partial derivative of f with respect to x this term involves x so this will be cal this will be uh, this will give you uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to x which i am calling as ux then again partial derivative of f with respect to y this term is the term involving y so this will give you uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to y which is uy and uh, then u is present only over here so the partial derivative of f with respect to u will be minus 1 which will come from this so these are the components so basically this particular vector this particular vector which was coming in 3 and uh, and this is this whole expression if you remember this whole expression is nothing but this is the uh, quasi linear equation uh, 1 which is aux plus buy is equal to uh, c this is the or minus c is equal to 0 we had written it in ex implicit form so this is the quasi linear equation which is 3 is the quasi linear equation 1 only but written as a dot product so in that in this uh, dot product this represents the uh, um, del of f which is the gradient of f gradient vector of f uh, so and uh, as far as the geometrical interpretation of gradient is concerned then the gradient of f gradient of f represents the normal to f normal to the surface f f we know is a solution surface uh, so it represents the normal to f at the point x y u so if this is your solution surface f x y u if this is solution surface this is the solution surface or integral surface to the quasi linear equation one so if this is the solution surface and if, if you have the point x y u over here then if you take a normal uh, to this the perpendicular let me draw it uh, this normal in a uh, straight manner so if you if you draw a normal to this normal like this if you draw a normal like this then this uh, this gradient this gradient represents the normal so basically the components of the normal are given by ux uy minus 1 so this is the geometrical interpretation of gradient so uh, so in the expression 3 we see that uh, ux uy minus 1 represents uh, nothing but the normal to the solution surface f x y u at the point x y u now but the but we have seen that the dot product of this vector a b c and this uh, gradient vector or uh, the del of f uh, this is this this operator actually this operator is called the del operator so so the uh, so this is del of f so uh, we have seen that the dot product of abc and uh, ux uy minus 1 which is del of f is 0 and uh, whenever the dot product of two vectors is 0 this means that these two vectors are perpendicular to each other so this vector uh, will be perpendicular to this vector so the these two vectors will be like this they'll be at right angles to each other which means that if this is the if ux uy minus 1 is the normal to the solution surface at the point uh, x y u then since uh, a b c this 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 vector is perpendicular to this so this vector a b c represents the tangent 
it represents the tangent to the solution surface at the point x, y, u. So, uh, and a, b, c were what? a, b, c were coefficients of the quasi-linear equation 1. So, the coefficients of the quasi-linear equation 1, which are a, b, c, these are the uh, terms which are coming in uh, the quasi-linear equation. These are the terms a, b, c. So, these uh, are, they give you nothing, but they give you the direction of the tangent uh, vector. So, this represents the tangent vector. So, this represents, so, so this vector a, b, c uh, represents a particular, this gives you a particular direction field because we are in a x, y, u space. Three variables are there. So, this is, this is representing a particular uh, direction field and uh, that it, uh, as it is giving you a particular direction. So, uh, this particular direction has a, a name. This is called the characteristic direction or uh, this is called the Mong uh, uh, axis. So, so the, the direction which this represents, the direction which it gives, because actually this is the, this, this is a particular direction in which this tangent vector is pointing and we are in the x, y, u space as I said, something like this x, y and u. And this is a tangent vector to the solution surface at the point x, y, u. So it, it is a vector in the uh, in a, in space. So it represents. It, so it, it, there is some plane in which this vector is lying. So uh, so there is a particular plane in which this uh, vector lies. So it, in any case, it represents. It gives a particular direction field or a direction, and that direction is called the characteristic direction, or it is called the uh, Mong axis. So so. So, if you uh, just uh, take a look at the first order quasi-linear equation, the crux of the uh, whole thing, the crux, crux of the whole uh, article that uh, I have just explained is that if you are given a quasi-linear equation uh, of the form 1, which is AUX uh, plus BUY is equal to C. So, if you take a, if, if you take the, let me just scroll the screen totally so that I can get a fresh page. So, if you if you just take uh, the quasi-linear equation AUX plus BUY is equal to C from the whole discussion we get that, uh, that then the, these uh, coefficients A, B, C which are these terms which are coming in a, uh, the, these uh, terms of the quasi-linear equation where A, B, C of course we know they are uh, functions of uh, X, Y, U where uh, again we know that X and Y are independent variables and U is a dependent variable. They actually represent nothing but they uh, they they actually represent the tangent vector, uh, uh, tangent vector to the solution surface. The solution surface was f x y uh, u, uh, which we had written as uh, u x y minus u is equal to zero. And uh, they they at the point. So this is the solution surface f x y u, and uh, at this point, at at the point x y u. So this this is the this is the tangent which is. Uh, and the tangent at this point is given by ABC. So this is the uh, crux of the whole discussion. And of course, because uh, we are in the XY uh, plane, so this is a ta uh, tangent uh, vector lying in a plane. And that tangent plane, that plane is, uh, of course, the tangent plane because it lies in a plane. And that tangent plane will be a plane to the solution surface at uh, this point. So this, this uh, uh, direction which is given by ABC, uh, this vector, uh, I told you this is a particular direction or a direction field we can say and that uh, direction as I explained already is the characteristic direction or the Mong axis. So, uh, uh, the, this, this uh, you, you can simply say that uh, if you if you just try to, try to draw the whole uh, diagram in a uh, three dimensional manner. So, this is X, Y and U and uh, if I just uh, take a different uh, color uh, of uh, my pen. So, uh, something like this, if you have, uh, this is the solution surface and uh, on the solution surface you have uh, the point, uh, this is the point, this is the point x, y, u and at the point x, y, u, you have uh, the normal, uh, this is the normal, uh, the normal is this, this is the normal. And uh, the coordinates of the normal, the components of the normal are ux, u by minus 1. And then uh, again, uh, if you just see the, uh, if you see abc, then abc will be given by the tangent vector. So this is your abc. And uh, of course, uh, abc, uh, this uh, vector lies in a plane. And uh, this is the plane in which this vector lies. This is the plane to the solution surface. This is the solution surface. Actually, this is fxy u. 
uh, which is u x y minus u is equal to zero. So this 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 pink line actually represents the solution surface, and this is the tangent plane. So this is the tangent plane in which the uh, tangent vector is lying. 